Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions of week 8 assignment 8 of problem solving through programming in C. So friends, all these are 100% correct answers, those I am going to give. But if you feel any doubt or any correction regarding the answers I have, give, I have given, so you can comment in the comment section. So I will try to give you the reply for your valid queries. And please watch the video till the end without skipping because if you skip the video you will be missing some important answers so please watch the video till the end coming to the first question what is the default return type if it is not specified in the function definition if we do not specify any return type then the default by default the answer will be or the return type will be type of integer that is option B so mark option B as correct answer for first question. And coming to second question, what will be the output? So I have done this in my compiler. I have got the answer as error. It means compilation error because there is no condition or function that representing this block. This is this block is represented by curly braces without any function or any condition. So I have got the answer compilation error here. And coming to third question. How many times hello world will be printed? So the answer for third question is option D. Till the stack overflows. So mark option D as correct answer and coming to fourth question fourth question what will the function return they have given a function so the function will return if we give x and y as integers into the function f u n c then it will return x plus function of x comma y minus 1 it is a recursive function so I have tried with some random numbers by by those references I have got the answer for fifth question as option B that is x into y where x and y are non integer non negative integers both x and y should be should not be negative integers they can be zero or positive integers so mark option B in previous question the answer is option D you know Sixth question, what will be the output? They have given a code snippet. So in my compiler, I have got the answer as option D, 2, 0, 4, 8, 0. So 2, 0, 4, 8, 0. Answer is option D. So mark option D as correct answer for sixth question. And coming to seventh question. Uh, what is the output of the following C program? The answer for seventh question, I have got the answer as 15. So mark option C, 15 as correct answer for seventh question. And coming to eighth one, what will be the output? So If you see, they have assigned number 1 as 10 and number 2 as 20. So before swapping, what is number 1? 10. And number 2, what is number 2? 20. So before swapping, here in number 1 place, we will replace percentage D, that means integer value with 10. So before swapping, number 1 equal to 10 and number 2 equal to 20. So all these statements have similar in their first statement. Let's go to num second print statement. But before that we have swap. It means swap means the values of both the arguments will be swapped. But with respect to this program, everyone will think like the value will be get reversed so 
number one will be 20 and number two will be 10 but according to this program if you do this you will get the answer as same as that of previous one number one equal to 10 and number two as 20 so what is the correct answer it is option a so mark option a as correct answer for eighth question and coming to ninth one consider the function friends this is we have to think in a recursive way in similar to that of function you have to take any real time values to check the given options so i have taken some random numbers and check the options so when i check these uh, options i got the answer for ninth question as option d minimum of a and b so mark option d as correct answer for ninth question and the final question heading on to the final question that is the question of assignment 8 in fibonacci it is a function they have taken so by default it will return fibonacci of n minus 1 plus fibonacci of n minus 2 so they have given the function above has a flaw that may result in a serious error during some invocations which one of the following describes the deficiency illustrated above the answer is option a for some values of n the environment will almost certainly exhaust its stack space before the calculation process completes so what is the answer it is option option a so friends these are the answers regarding assignment 8 so for next assignment please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends i think this video will be helpful for you if you feel the same please support our channel and like this video and share this information with your friends too so until then be safe be happy keep supporting us thank you bye